Okay, we're here at the Stagecoach Trail. And uh, we're doing an impromptu hike. Um, basically, simulating a, air quotes, bug out scenario. Uh, so I have a little uh, satchel that I keep in my vehicle. Um, fortunately, I had some of my stuff. Uh, I had to pick a couple other things up that I um, wasn't really comfortable in doing. Uh, hiking boots were in the vehicle and uh, we're going to do stage coach trail uh, with this little shoulder sling and then I got it about or these size uh, about one pint four bottles of water uh, temperatures about 94 degrees day and uh, we're going to uh, see if we can get uh, data overlays with the uh, dashware uh, with the video uh, so let's take a look at the, the trail uh, information. Here's the gate right here. Uh, upper stagecoach is point, 0 0.2 miles. Uh, overall down to the river is 2 miles. So we're going to do roughly 4 miles. Uh, we're going to try to do this actually pretty quickly. Try to do this uh, fairly quickly. And... Uh, get down and back up. We'll see uh, how fast we can go. I haven't been down in here in uh, many months. So it looks like they've added uh, things to the trail. Uh, let me take a look at this sign real quick. So volunteer for the state parks. That's what the sign's for, interesting. All right, well, let's get going. This is more of a fire trail, so yeah, fairly well maintained, uh, lots of traffic. Um, I think the elevation gain is a thousand feet and uh, we'll, we'll uh, check back on that once we uh, get back home and able to look at the data. So we'll just do a little uh, sections here uh, really trying to get the dashware to see if I can get the external data synced up with it. That's primary focus, but let's uh, flip this around. A couple of other trails that you can get uh, pretty good uh, views. Let's take a look at this right here. This is actually pretty nice. And I don't know what that is right there. It looks like a fig tree right there. Yeah, it looks like a fig tree. It's great to see these uh, old oak trees. Uh, pretty amazing. Okay, I'm, I'm traveling, just checking my speed here. I'm gonna travel around three or more miles an hour uh, going downhill, uphill. Try to keep the same pace, about three miles an hour. We'll see. All right, we'll uh, check back in. Okay, we're, we're about 12 minutes in. It's weird to hear something. Um, we're about 12 minutes in, uh, about Half, a little bit over half a mile, 0.6 miles. Uh, there's a break in the trail right here. Uh, normally don't go down that way. Uh, so we're uh, we're gonna continue continue on. And uh, there's another break. Uh, I'm actually actually my ticket is a little bit cooler uh, section of the trail. Uh, gets me to a similar spot. So we'll try that. Okay, here we're at uh, another uh, break in the trail, and uh, starts to open up a little bit more here. And it's pretty amazing. Uh, we'll look at it if we can get a chance. And here's the break in the trail down that way. And this, this I believe, is Manzanita Trail. Yes, Manzanita Trail. So it's about 1.3 miles to the bottom of the canyon. And then we'll take a look at the bridge over there. That bridge is uh, pretty amazing. 
Uh, I believe that was shot in a triple X movie. And uh, yeah, there is a, uh, a, what, what am I, a Forest Hill Bridge. That's what it's called right there. So we'll uh, walk a little bit here and uh, take a look at the, uh, some of the uh, amazing views. Uh, people actually live up on the side of this ridge here, which is pretty amazing. A little bit jealous. But anyways, a little bench here that uh, leads up to a pretty amazing view. So we're going going down to the bottom there. This is lap six, about a mile, a little bit over a mile in, 25 minutes total time. And uh, another break in the trail. There was one back there, but didn't have a, a, a sign marker. Uh, so this is a uh, flood road up there. It'd be a 0.8 miles. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so amazing, beautiful views. Let's get going. So this is lap eight, uh, another break in the trail. Uh, this is uh, Tinker's Cutoff Trail to Confluence. So that's about 0.3 miles down. Uh, very nice, shady uh, uh, experience. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically stick to the main trail. I, I thought I was gonna take it, but I, you know, I'm trying to get this semi-workout in fairly quickly so we're just going to stick to the main trail. Lap 9, there's a little uh, runoff section here. It's actually pretty nice. Okay, this is lap 10 and uh, starting to open up a little bit more you know unfortunately this uh, highway I think it's 49 it gets traveled a lot uh, so you have a lot of background noise from uh, vehicles but it's still beautiful anyways uh, you can see hopefully in the distance there there's a water's running pretty good it's actually you can hear it uh, it's still running pretty good for the summer months anyways we're gonna go down to the river and uh, check it out for a little bit getting down to uh, the water here shortly and uh, we can start seeing the Forest Hill Bridge here a little bit actually you can see it right now I'll have to look it up again, but the Forest Hill Bridge, I believe, was developed. Uh, they were going to build a dam somewhere uh, and then flood out the canyon. Um, don't know why, I can't remember the history behind it, but the, the plans fell through. So, uh, essentially, the bridge is, I think, one of the larger bridges in California. Uh, it is pretty amazing. Uh, I know one morning, I got up pretty early and I was down here hiking around uh, right before the sun came up and heard this weird noise of like a like a sound like a big bird flapping uh, turns out it was base jumpers that were basically jumping off that bridge there so like I said pretty amazing uh, bridge uh, they do 
They do have a uh, su uh, ooh, I can't even talk. They do have a suicide hotline and phones on the bridge if you go up there. We'll uh, maybe tour it someday. Uh, this is a quick workout, so let's take a look at the, what the sign says. So essentially, we're going uh, stagecoach via Confluence via Stagecoach Trail, and that's where we're going. There's a couple other places that we could go. Uh, Russell Road, 1.8, that's another 1.8 miles, and then uh, Forest Hill Bridge, it's uh, 0 0.8 miles. Anyways, uh, lots of hikes you can uh, tie together and make this as long or strenuous as you want. Uh, you can do lots of elevation game, that's kind of why I like this area. Uh, limited on time today, I would do more, but we're just going to do stagecoach. So we're going down a pretty steep uh, incline here. I don't know what it is, but uh, that thing gets that thing was going to get my heart rate up for de definitely sh for sure. Uh, yeah, that's going to get my heart rate up good. So pretty excited about this today. Just kind of impromptu hike. Good times. Popular swimming area. And uh, gets pretty crowded during the weekend. And uh, this water looks pretty low right now. Uh, we're walking right now. It's a river bottom, so I usually don't come back this uh, far down. I'm usually by, by the other bridge down there. So pretty good. Take a look at that water. It's a pretty uh, popular swim area. Uh, it's crazy during the weekend. You can barely uh, get down here and park. Uh, the river looks a little lower. It is running, so that's that's good. I usually don't come to this part of the uh, river. I usually uh, up there by that bridge over there. Uh, it's my kind of spot I like. Uh, but yeah, like I said. It's, popular area during the summer months and uh, during the weekends. It's actually a fair amount of people down here, but I think that's because the kids are still out of school. So, it took about 45 minutes to get down to the bottom. I'm going to try to hit that same number on the way at the top. It's going to be a little bit more strenuous, but we're going to try to hit that same number. And we're going to go to the top of that ridge over there. That's where we came from on top of that ridge. Okay, we're at lap 13. It's what we're uh, trying to do uh, markers for on the watch and video. Uh, anyways, 60 minutes is kind of up and down and just goofing off around the, the riverbed a little bit. Not too much. Probably like about, was it 45 minutes? So about 15 minutes down, down on the riverbed, roughly. Uh, so we're going to Go and uh, climb this uh, stagecoach trail. Uh, the, the heart rate should be getting getting going pretty good, um, and we're gonna go up that right there. I don't know how steep that is, but you know that's pretty. It's pretty steep. I know it gets my heart going. And then in the background, you can see the Four Hill Bridge. Lap 14. That actually wasn't too bad. wasn't too bad at all. Uh, yeah, that lap 14 wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, I'm in anaerobic, aerobic, sorry, not anaerobic, aerobic uh, heart area. So I guess in the past I was just out of shape. So got the heart rate up, but in a good area, I'd be like sucking wind even more. So feel really good. We're gonna try to keep up this pace. All right, lap 15, uh, 44 minutes, roughly back to the top. Almost the same amount down. Let's see what we uh, gain in elevation. It says 770 feet in elevation gain, so a little probably less than that, probably 700 feet. So push pretty good. It was in an aerobic uh, state, right in a good uh, zone. So we'll take a look at the data a little bit later.